Hello everyone, myself Uday Kumar. Uh, in this video, I am going to explain about one of the common interview questions uh, when you are attending a performance testing role with JMeter tool. So the question is like, uh, when you are running a test script, uh, I mean, um, like uh, any any script, there is a case like uh, the token generation uh, uh, API or transaction. For suppose your token uh, will expire in 30 minutes, but uh, your test should run for one hour. So how do you achieve this kind of scenario? So most of the time you might face this question. So you can achieve this scenario uh, by implementing loop controller and runtime controller in JMeter. So um, how do you achieve this scenario? Let me show one real time example so that you can achieve this scenario. So uh, let's go into the JMeter. So here uh, I have designed a small script. My script contain four transactions, okay? so. La uh, launch page, login, and enter details, and save button, and submit button. So here, my total test duration is 60 seconds. So you can see here, my test duration is 60 seconds. But assume uh, my login, like, uh, you know, uh, my token will expire in 30 seconds. Out of total duration, my token will expire in 30 seconds. Means after 30 seconds, you need to uh, create a new token so that your test will pass for the, throughout the duration. So for that scenario, what I have done is I have added one loop controller. I put it the, you know, 60 seconds is the duration here. Under loop controller, uh, I have added one more uh, controller called runtime controller. So under run, runtime controller, I provided 30 seconds and uh, I have added all the transaction which should run throughout the duration. For example, three and four should be run throughout the duration, whereas my launch and login should run for only once. So that is my requirement. And in login, I have a token uh, a trans, uh, correlation function. So when you run this script, let me, uh, you know, let me start let me clear everything and uh, let me start the test so that i can show what is happening if you can see here my launch page is executed only one time and uh, uh, the login also executed one time that means your user um executed launch and he come to the loop controller and he executed login and after that when you in your runtime controller like you you provided some duration that is like 30 seconds the test will execute for 30 seconds after 30 seconds he'll come out of the loop he will execute the login again you can see here your test is completed 30 seconds now users should come out of the loop and execute the login one more time you can see the login transaction is executed two times that means after 30 seconds user is will come out of the loop and uh, create a new token and again uh, he will perform the actions so in the similar way for example, if your test is one hour and uh, the total duration, you can put it one hour in your thread group and then, uh, you know, in loop controller, you can give one con uh, one hour and runtime controller, you can provide for suppose if your token is expiring in 30 minutes. So you can provide 1800 seconds here so that after 1800 seconds, again, it with the user will users will come out of the loop and create a new token from login and then execute the remaining flows. You can see here the login is executed two times and the remaining transaction executed throughout my one minute duration. And uh, so you can see it 64 times save uh, transaction executed 63 times submit transaction is executed. So this you can implement by, uh, whenever there is a uh, token dependency universe script. So hope uh, this is clear to everyone. If anybody have any doubt, you can feel free to you know comment me. I will definitely try to help on that. Thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.